Okay, friends, we're going to be making our Romero Brito dogs. So what we're going to do is start with a shape in the middle of our paper first. You are going to tell me what shape is the nose of my dog. Great, it's a triangle. So we're going to go in the middle of our paper. Right in the middle, you're going to do a curve because we want it to be rounded. And then we're gonna have a line that comes down from one side and down from another. Now we're gonna do his lips, and his lips are gonna go from the top of that triangle all the way back up to the point. Dog lips are pretty big, so don't be afraid to get really big with those lips. So I'm gonna go from the corner and curve back around to that point. Same thing over here, friends, and I'm really making sure I'm filling this space up pretty good on my paper. I don't want to draw too small. All right, now I'm going to do the tongue, which is going to be a curve under those two pieces I just drew and the line in it. Okay, we're going to start doing some of the legs. You're going to do a line, find the bottom curve of that tongue, and you're going to do a line that almost goes all the way to the bottom of the page, but we're leaving some room for toes. Now we're gonna find the middle of the curve on our lips and draw another line that's vertical. And it's the same length as that middle line. And I did another one on the other side, right in the middle of that curve, a line that goes down. Okay, now we're gonna do from the outside line a bump that curves in, kind of like a C, the letter C. And then we're gonna do a backwards letter C off of this one. These are the paws. We're now going to do another bump or two, and they're gonna to connect to that line. Now for the back legs, we're gonna do a long hook. It's kind of like I call it a candy cane almost. You're gonna find the middle edge of your lips. I'm just gonna put a little dot there. So about right here, you're gonna come out, stop when you get close to the edge, and we're gonna start to curve downwards. So I'm gonna come out and curve downwards, coming towards, so now I'm coming towards my legs, and I'm gonna do a C. And once I get close to my paw, see how this line is getting close? I'm now gonna curve out and meet my front paws. So I'm going to do the same over here. Find about the middle of the top part of that lip. Curve up like a candy cane and then slant inwards. Now, ooh, before I touch that line, I'm going to draw the back paw. Okay, now we have to do the ears. So the ears, my friends, are going to almost be um, like an L. So what we're going to do is we're going to find where the lip and the leg connect and we're going to do an angled line that goes out towards the edge of our paper like that. And that is a diagonal line. Now I'm going to do another vertical line coming from that. What does that kind of look like? Hmm. Okay, so again, where that top leg and the lip connect, a diagonal line. And then from that area, straight one that goes up. Let's make these the same length. And now we're gonna draw a curve that connects from the top to the bottom. We're now gonna draw a curved line that connects those two. And then some filled in circles for the eyes. If you would like to draw a tail coming from behind your dog's head, you can. Alrighty, my friends, so that is it for now. Um, we will work on some of the coloring stuff next time.